All right, guys, so the intake manifold bolts to the head. I'm gonna be bolting it down and torque it to spec. So I got the front here already lined up. Same thing on the back. You just need to wiggle the intake manifold while you're spinning the bolt is the technique. So it will catch the treads so that it's not hitting the bolt, you know? If the intake manifold is hitting the bolt on the side, it's, it's hard to spin. So just wiggle, wiggle while you're spinning the, the bolt. So there you go, it catch the treads in there. All right, uh, we're gonna bottom out the bolt. So make sure your number one setting on your impact. All right, so let's start with the bottom in the middle. Make sure, double check underneath that it's not pinching wire or harness or anything down there or wire loom. Double check underneath, okay? All right, passenger side, make sure number one setting on your impact. We'll bottom it out. All right, we're gonna torque it to spec is next. Alright guys, we're gonna talk this uh, intake manifold bolt. So what I got here is a digital torque wrench AC Delco, uh, the ARM601-4. Alright, this is up to like 150 foot-pounds range, I believe, or 145. And the lowest is uh, 14 foot-pounds. So this is just only for a low torque and uh, torque wrench. So we're just gonna set it up to uh, 18 foot pounds so you can see as for set up and down right here this is set to 18 foot pounds so we'll give it a try so start from the back here <clears throat> All right, I don't know if you can see the number, but it's zero right now. And then when you start moving, there we go. Goes 18.1. Try on the other bolt. There we go. And the metal bolt. I did this one already. So there you go, it's all set. So 18 foot pounds, we're gonna double check, run everything down. All right, there you go. It's all set. This side is torque to spec. Now let's do the other side. All right, that's it guys. All the intake bolts are torqued to spec, all eight of them. This is a really nice tool. I'm surprised that uh, it's accurate. It's really nice, handy. Got some weight into it. Really love using this again in the future. And gonna be more video with this. Check it out guys. It's a big progress today, big progress. So I started from Putting all this intake manifold bolts back in there with the gasket, bolt it down, run the wires on this side first, focusing everything all on this side, the harness, the pipe, power steering, the vacuum lines, and the inlet hose for the turbo, snug that up way back there, PCV valves and everything way back there. It's all connected and then the harness in here. All right. And then after that, I start focusing the power steering pump. On this side, bolted down, boost solenoid right here. It's all connected. The harness, it's all tucked right in. And then I bolted down this uh, AC pump. There's uh, three bolts, two and one right here. And then just slowly creeping on the driver's side. 
Uh, driver side harness was a little tough compared to the passenger side over there. Uh, it got pinched back here, so make sure the whole harness it was upright over the edge of the intake manifold. And then uh, you connect a couple connectors back there for the secondary valve, uh, cam sensors, solenoids, injectors, and then ground right there. So pretty much down there, it's all bolted down, everything is ready to go. And then the last piece I did is this intercooler. I'm going to uh, get a heavy duty clamps, just like the one I had on uh, Forrester. Same thing with this one, I'm gonna get a heavy duty clamp. And finally, I got the gasket for the blow off valve. I'm gonna put gasket on there. And then, yeah, I guess we're gonna be installing the pulley here. Put the serpentine belt, accessories belt, intake box, intake hose, and then the battery tray connects all the cables and wire. Uh, the rad, the rad fan connect all the connectors, upper lower hose, thermostat. So here's the box from um, Subaru original thermostat when i looked at it here uh, this thing is a uh, 78 celsius wow 78 celsius that's when i start to open up 78 that's really early but i guess uh, it's a subaru that's how they uh they deal this kind of stuff i thought it would be like uh you know, hotter than that but anyways that's it guys, this is a good progress today, installing a couple things in the next video, bleed the coolant, I'm going to show you how to bleed the coolant on this, and then we're going to start her up and push this uh, vehicle out of the garage and then we're going to bring another one in. There's a lot of aftermarket parts right here we're going to be installing, so can't wait to install that. But first, we're gonna get this thing running and then uh, kick this vehicle out of the garage. And uh, I'm gonna be working on a Chevy Cruze turbo swap on that. Uh, oil leak on the, the Dodge Journey that I did the uh, heater core. Yeah, there's an oil leak on that. So I'm gonna be working on that someday. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching. See you guys again in the next one. See ya.